Hi everyone, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist here in the Seattle area. Welcome to my channel. Thank you to Biosons for sponsoring this video. Let's go over one of my favorite topics, retinoids. What's the difference between retinol, N-O-L, versus retinal, N-A-L? Also, I'm gonna cover how to incorporate these ingredients into your skincare routine, specifically your night routine. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all of your support. Let's jump into this video. Let's talk about retinoids. Retinoids is the umbrella term. Retinol and retinal fall under this umbrella term. This family, retinoids, ohana, retinoids. Retinol, retinal, retinil fall under the category of over-the-counter retinoids. So retinal, palmitate, there's retinol, and then there's retinal, N-A-L, or retinaldehyde, which is classically more potent than retinol, and that's the order. Retinol, retinol, retinal, and then that gets converted further into retinoic acid, the stuff I would prescribe uh, to my patients in clinic. Taking retinol specifically, that needs to be converted twice into retinoic acid. Retinaldehyde or retinal only needs to be converted once, and thus it's more potent. The trade-off is retinol is less potent, but less irritating classically. There are papers that do show that retinal has been around for a long period of time. Retinaldehyde is used by many countries for many years and it's very effective for anti-aging, lightening dark spots, and for acne, especially comedonal acne. Retinol does the same but at a less potent degree but more tolerable. And when I mentioned anti-aging, it does have Bit data backing it up that it can help soften fine lines and wrinkles. Let's jump into Biosance, this really nice night serum. Squalane plus retinol night serum. I've been using this for several weeks now and I've been so impressed by this serum. Let's talk about it. Nice lightweight serum and I find it quite innovative as it combines retinol and retinol together in one serum. Now this duo of retinol and retinal, they're encapsulated and time release so that you can get gradual release and increased tolerability, but still have that efficacy by combining both retinol and retinal. But you get the best of both worlds where you get tolerability plus efficacy. And when it comes to retinoids in general, the main goal is to stay consistent because to get all of these uh, benefits, including reducing fine lines and wrinkles, lightening your dark spots, help keeping your pores clear, you need to stay consistent with your retinoid. And Biosense has done a good job by making this a stable form, encapsulating them, but also making it time release so you gradually have it released into your skin and doing its magic. So let's talk about the goodies. I would, whenever I talk about whether it's sunscreen, moisturizers, or retinol, what are the goodies in them, the extra ingredients that we like to have packed in it that really helps synergistically work with your retinol. So this has antioxidants from saffron and rosemary and antioxidants are really nice with your retinol because they help fight free radical damage from external factors like pollution, sunlight. It'll help neutralize the free radical damage that can cause aging, worsening of dark spots on your face, which we don't want. We don't want to worsen the hyperpigmentation. So this will help battle that. And it also has one of my favorite ingredients, squalane. This is a plant-derived squalane. And squalane is a nice ingredient that's hydrating, but also moisturizing. You see here it says plant-derived squalane. This is sugarcane-derived squalane, which is classically known for hydration, increasing skin hydration. Uh, by retaining moisture in the skin and also aiding in the delivery of your retinoids in the serum. It helps deliver it more effectively into the skin. Again, going back to the point of the balance, the balance between tolerability and efficacy, squalane will help with that. Hydrating the skin and also delivering the encapsulated dual more readily. Going back to the time release technology, that will allow the retinoids to be gradually released over an eight hour period. So I like to use this in my night routine at bedtime and use a good moisturizer with this. And we'll talk about moisturizers that pair with this very well. I, I typically use my retinoids at bedtime. Let's put this on. When you're starting off on a retinol or a brand new retinol, I say start at twice a week and then gradually increase as tolerated. The big things that can happen with a brand new retinol is that you can get irritation, dryness, peeling, and that's not the retinol's fault. It's just inherently part of the retinoid game. And so just be gentle. Same principle applies to this retinol pea size amount. And a lot of people don't believe me, but seriously, a pea size amount is all you need for your entire face. And I'll show you how to do that very soon. So at bedtime, 
cleanser face. I'm gonna talk really soon about what cleansers I'm doing this summer. And then apply a pea-sized amount of your Biasan Squalane Plus Retinol Night Serum. So one pump gives you about a pea-sized amount. I like to break it up into two. It has a nice yellow color to it. Little dots in the face and then connect the dots. Don't forget your nose. That just goes on so well. It is hydrating, it's very gentle, no sting or burning, and this has become one of my favorite retinol serums very recently. And again, I've been using this for several weeks before uh, filming this video, and it's not, I've not had a day uh, where I've woken up with very dry, irritated skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but you know, I do, I have tried many different retinols and I have to say this one, I instantly have liked it and to several weeks later, I still recommend this serum. After cleansing, dry your face and maybe wait about 20 to 30 minutes. We want to apply it to uh, damp skin because it will increase the absorption of it and increase the risk of irritation with your retinol, whether it's this serum or any other retinoid. So uh, you can pat dry and let it air dry and then apply your retinol. Then go ahead and apply a nice moisturizer. So, all right, so I just finished clinic and I wanted to go over some cleansers that I have here uh, after wearing a mask all day. I'm gonna either use the La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser, the Tolarian Purifying Foaming Cleanser. One of my favorite cleansers out there because it's foaming and foaming cleansers are great for those with oily skin in the summertime. I have oilier skin for sure. Uh, I have combination skin, so definitely forehead and nose tend to get a little bit more greasy, that shiny look. And so this really does absorb the excess oil. So this works really well with your retinol or retinol. Big question I get is, can you combine salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide with your retinol or retinol? leave on benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid i would be careful of cleansing wise though i say it's totally fine if you're doing well with your retinol or your retinol you can totally consider a benzoyl peroxide containing cleanser cleansing is very different from leave on and i say it's a much gentler process but still getting the benefits of the say benzoyl peroxide this one has four percent benzoyl peroxide has niacinamide has the three essential uh, ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which is that humectant that draws in water. So having niacinamide in it is great because it helps regulate sebum production. And I'll alternate one day this, another day with the purifying foaming cleanser. And it's really nice to do after clinic to unclog your pores. It really helps go down the pore and cleanse your pores, cleans them out so you don't get that mask knee over your nose, which I was struggling with in the beginning of COVID when we're wearing a mask strictly with each patient. I still wear my mask in clinic. And so this has really helped save me from getting uh, those uh, pimples on the nose, those deep painful pimples that leave a blemish for months. It just works well with my retinol because the retinol is doing the same thing. It's trying to keep your pores clean, your retinol or retinol. And so this works really well. It's gentle. It's not too high of a benzoyl peroxide for my skin. You can go up to 10%, but sometimes that can be a little bit drying and irritating, especially when you're doing a retinol. And also make sure that you wash this off well, because if you use a towel that's not white, it will bleach your towel. So just keep that in mind, okay guys? Uh, that benzoyl peroxide can bleach your towels or linen. Say you have a leave-on benzoyl peroxide and you lie down on your sheets or pillow, it will bleach, okay? So just keep that in mind. So in terms of moisturizer, what do I apply over this? I will use, I like to use Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which has squalane as well, and glacial glycoprotein, or I will use affordable Vanna Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. This is also with squalane and glycerin. You just wanna increase that hydration. Let me show you on one side of my face. So I apply this maybe after a minute of letting it set just to help decrease that risk of irritation. But I'll show you Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream next. This is nice and soothing. Goes very well with my actives. Almost feel like I'm putting cool cream that's been left in the fridge for the entire day. Nice, nice and soothing. So these two go very well 
with that retinol serum, Biosense's retinol serum. You go to sleep, next day, wear your sunscreen. You can go ahead and use your other actives, whether it's vitamin C, but that's how I use a retinol or retinol or a combination of the two, like in the serum, at bedtime, okay? So retinoids at bedtime, a lot of times the sunlight can deactivate retinoids. These are encapsulated, but I still use them at bedtime. In terms of retinol, versus Retinol. I hope this video was helpful and hope you guys check out the Biosan Squalene Plus Retinol Night Serum. And please like the video, please share with your friends who are into retinoids, and please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, peace.